There's a craze lately that has been taking over the entire world by storm, and that is small, tiny Airbnbs. So my job today is to find the smallest. First up, Dinton Castle. That's right, the world's smallest castle. Let's check it out. Now, all six foot three of me is gonna be staying in this here tonight. I'm really excited and I just think this is gonna be really cool. We're gonna start with this one and we're gonna get smaller and smaller and smaller. <coughs> Let's head inside. So, before booking this place, I decided I'd check out the reviews, and I was gobsmacked. 4.99. But everybody kept mentioning a fella named John. Turns out, John is the castle owner, and not only that, he possessed the ultimate status of an Airbnb super host. I couldn't believe it. So, I decided to get a hidden camera and see if his hospitality was really that good. You can see how, so, it's lovely, but it's quite small. Yeah, I think this is really uh, cool though. Well, I thought the camera was hidden, but it turns out John had made us. He was staring right at the camera. Did this mean I'd lost the trust of our super host, John? Wishing you a good Thank stay. Thank you. Oi, John is a legend. <laughs> that guy actually is the nicest Airbnb host I've ever met. You're probably wondering, how much does a castle like this cost to stay a night in? Well, it's not cheap. It cost me 500 pounds for the night. Right, time for a castle tour. So this is the, the first floor here. That's where I'm gonna be cooking up a little feast later. The ceilings are a little bit low, but it's cozy. He told me you can get tunes on here. Hold on. What the hell has John been listening to? Elder Scrolls. And then he's got Mr. Farts, fart sounds, over a thousand farts. All right, come on then, I'm interested. This is an hour long. Anyways, John, I don't know what you get up to in your spare time, but I love it. Oh, by the way, look at this. A complimentary bottle of wine as well. So Harry was the one that booked it for me. Enjoy your stay. That's Harry G film. Rotashaw did not treat me to a night in a castle. Wine waits for nobody. Oh God, I don't know if this is gonna come out right. Mmm, I feel like a middle-class wanker on a holiday in Spain with his family. No, I don't like it. Send it back, it's corked. Oh, John, delightful one. <coughs> this castle is sick. Right, let's head up and check out the rest of this. Here we go. And look at this, man. Tell me, this isn't just lovely. Cozy little fire. We're talking my language. You now he did say, oh, it is, you know, it does feel small. I'm there like, yep, I mean, it is the smallest castle, but it doesn't feel like cramped. I don't feel cramped. Kept some, some castle themed things. I've seen these advertised on Instagram. It's nice to know that I'm not the only one that got baited into buying that sort of shit. Sir wipe a lot right there. Even the windows are just very like long. It's like me if I was a window. I mean, this is a lovely master bedroom. Here we go, right, right to the top. And we're onto the roof. This house actually featured on a very popular British TV show called Grand Designs. And yeah, I just thought that was a pretty cool, pretty cool thing. Not everyone's house has been on that show, let me tell you that. Okay, it's time to do the lap time test. We're gonna see how long it takes for me to sprint around each Airbnb. Let's go. Three, two, one. Stop. 11.7 seconds. That's not bad, but it can definitely be beaten. Look at this. It's it's not small at all. Like I'm a big guy, my hands are in the air. This is a big room. This is a spacious, warm environment. I could just about touch the top. Here, okay, I'm gonna sit down. He might have cameras in here, and if he's seeing that, I'm not gonna be here for very long. I wonder if he has secret cameras. Anyways, we're gonna slum it out in here. Pfft, hardly. I'm gonna cook some food and see what it's like to live in the smallest castle in the world. So it's time to go to bed in the world's smallest castle. I actually really like this place. It feels really cozy, it's warm. The only 
bad thing is that I haven't actually received a response from the smallest Airbnb that I'm supposed to be going to. The host hasn't replied. My booking's been accepted, so I'm kind of hoping I can just go to bed here, wake up tomorrow, and see a nice little unread message from him. Other than that, I should see you guys tomorrow, assuming this place isn't haunted. So it's morning here in the castle. I'm up, and I'm about, and my car is very frosted over. Oh God. It's time to see how small really is this Airbnb? It is exactly five meters wide. 500 centimeters wide. Let's go smaller. Sadly, our time at the castle was up, but I had such a wonderful time, I had to leave John a parting gift. But we march on, and it was time to head to the next small Airbnb. All right, so I'm here today at this Airbnb, definitely smaller, and I am kind of missing the castle, but nevertheless, I'm excited. It's got a lovely big window here, so sunlight plus, and uh, yeah. The armadillo isn't actually all by itself. This is plonked right in someone's back garden. All right, so we're here in a very, very small Airbnb. Now, to be fair, it has quite a lot of ceiling space, but it's side to side. I actually really like this, you know. 266 centimeters. That is half the castle. That makes this the second smallest Airbnb. So yeah, this is a very, very small Airbnb, but it has to be said, small does not mean shit. It's high tech, man, look at this. Okay, wait, look at this. There it is, charging. This is very cool. I'll be honest, I don't know if you can cook anything here. It doesn't look like you can. Chilling bed. A little bit stiff, but I'm not gonna complain. Let's check out the toilet. It is a wet room. So you just kind of have to accept that it's just a two in one. And believe it or not, I can still stand in here. The shower head, it's gonna have to be a handheld job, I think. Right, so this place cost me a hundred pounds for the night, which I think is pretty good going. I will admit it's a little bit weird that you're in someone's garden. What a nice day. But to be fair, it's been very a very private experience and there is a hedge as well that sort of keeps it a little bit secluded. It is a double bed after all. Angry Ginge fits. It's time for the twister test. Right, let's see. Hold on a second. It fits. Twister, well, okay, right foot. <laughs> Success. We're gonna make a coffee. Anyways, we do need milk here though, all right. They've left me the essentials. I'm not even joking. That is so funny. Um, Stella and coffee, does that work? I don't know if it does. You know what? These tiny homes are absolutely class. Okay guys, it's time for the lap time. Are we ready? Three, two, one, go. Seven point one seconds, right there. Seven point one seconds. That's a good like five seconds quicker than the castle. Pretty substantial. On real news, as I'm sat in this Airbnb, I just got a text off of the final Airbnb, the smallest Airbnb. We're all approved. Look, hanging out in someone's back garden is great and all, but I'd rather leave that to Danny Aaron's. It's time to head on to the next one. I gotta show you guys the world's smallest Airbnb. Somehow I've managed to book this, come on. Look at this, I mean, you wanna talk about cozy. All right, look at this. I mean, it's small and by far the smallest Airbnb I've ever stayed in, but not suffocating. I. The bed is, oh my God, I've just realized, the bed is shaped like a coffin. I think from the pictures, it does open up. I've just realized. Hold on, let me show you guys. There's pillows there. But where are the du- where, where, where is the duvet? Right, it's time for the measuring tape. Yeah, so this is three meters wide. This is also three meters long. 
you know what I mean? Like, we're in a sphere, that's how spheres work. Whereas the one before was like two and a half meters, 2.3 meters, but it had, it was hella long. It was probably like five meters. Now I'm gonna be honest with you. These places, they're small. It's still not quite as small as those Tokyo capsule hotels. They are tiny. So these tiny homes, they might be a bit of a cheat code, especially if you're looking for a little weekend getaway. And you're probably wondering how much do the smallest Airbnb in the world cost? Now this one right here, this cost me 90 pounds a night. It is pretty bare, but at the same time, it's not like you've come to stay in this thing to spend all your time here. So yeah, money well spent in my opinion. Welcome to the... Uh to the bathroom. I'm not sure what you guys are doing in there already, but yeah, here we are. Look at this thing. It is again a wet room, and I think this maybe just fit me. No. In these small places, it, six foot three doesn't always work, okay? And it's just a short walk into our beloved tiny tree house. Look at this thing. I love it. Oh my God, Ginge, what? How have you made it here? How inappropriate to be turning up without even asking. Just letting yourself in like that. I believe in miracles. Where you from? I have found the smallest Airbnb in the world. Now this swing is Maybe not as comfy as the castle one, but still. Okay, this is rubbing against my nuts now. I've got rope burn on my ball sack. Um, this is it. Time lap. We have spectators as well. This should be interesting. Ready? Go. Oh, I've got to go the long way around. Oh, God. Oh. 8.5 seconds to get around it. That tree right there added on a good two seconds. This Airbnb is so small that actually the volume inside of it is smaller than your average London bathroom. I have to admit, there's something very peaceful and very manly about making your own fire. Although it's not quite outdoor boys level. I'm aware of that, I cheated quite quite a lot, but it is still quite cool. It's also nice to know that we have these places on our doorstep because you always think, ah, oh, You've got to go to like Spain. Maybe, maybe not at this time of year when it's one degree outside and I'm sat here in a puffer jacket, but the vibes would be elite. Anyways. Right, so you're not gonna believe this, right? But I've just got a notification on Airbnb and it's from John, Mr. Castle, okay? And he's already hit us up. Now, if you remember, we left a couple of presents for him. And he said, hi, Cal. It was a pleasure having you both to stay. Hope it was okay. And a huge thanks for that wonderful thank you mug. It's an Emma Bridgewater mug, my favorite kind. So you literally couldn't have left me a better thank you gift. I'm so chuffed. How on earth did you get that one so right? I'm not gonna lie, it was like 90% luck, but it seems that me and John are, are on our ways to be besties. Oh, and at the end he said, anyway, we'll leave you a five-star review very soon. Thanks so much again. It's only right that I repay the favor. Dear John, thank you so much for your incredible hospitality. I'm still daydreaming about the incredible times that we spent in your castle. From doing star jumps in the living room, to swinging in the sunset, to running laps around the wonderful, wonderful grounds of your castle. Actually, go back. You don't need two wonderfuls. I'm glad you enjoyed the parting gift we left you. All the best, Callum, AKA Cal Fraser.